and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers. I'm Jamie, your host. This is our angel haired hipster, Curtis, and our happy hunter, <laughs> Nettie. We're the show that likes to uh, share our whiskey and have a little bit of fun. And today, Curtis, we have some tall, beautiful bottles of bourbon. Yes. And uh, why don't you we go ahead and see me? <laughs> why don't we go ahead and You'll see it me off. right now. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, bam, bam. bam. Nice. Okay, this is something I've never had before. I've always been kind of, I don't know why I never uh, never bought it or even asked to try it or anything. Probably because it's not cheap. It's not cheap. That's one okay, thing. Okay, we're not cheap today. No. Yeah. And uh, this is the E.H. Taylor Jr. And we have uh, the single barrel and the small batch. Oh, yeah. Single barrel and small batch. So, single barrel is we'll go ahead and what? It comes from a single barrel. Okay. Okay. So a small batch is a small group of barrels. Yes. Okay. One. Okay. Well, that's good. That clarifies exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay. So which one is typically a little bit higher end or better? Is it the single barrel or is it? Which one would you buy if you had to buy one? I don't think they're capable of producing a bad barrel. Oh, I'm sure they've thrown away some barrels or at least given them away. Okay. So? Okay. So we'll start with single barrel mm. and. There's a lot of comparisons online between the both of these. So, you guys get to try. This is certainly a little bit different than other um, descriptions. It says here, it's not accidental, it's fundamental. Pure limestone water, select grain, model equipment, equipment manufacturer, perfect distillation. Splendid corporate, cooperative, corporate, natural metrization, ideal glassing, Comprehensive sanitation. Okay, so I guess there's. Oh, that smells like sanitation. Is it good. does. It does have a good what bourbon smell going on. You know, you were pouring it like far away from my face, and it even still kind of hit me. Like up front, it actually. I thought I smelled blueberry for some reason. Yeah, you're right. And then that's kind of vanished now. It says here, these select barrels are allowed to age as long as necessary to reach their peak maturity. Each barrel is bottled individually. One barrel at a time for an uncompromised taste. The single barrel bourbon is a tribute to the legendary Colonel E.H. Taylor Jr., a name synonymous to topmost glass whiskey. So I think this is kind of like a secret formula here. Pure limestone, select grain, model equipment, skilled manufacturer, manufacturer, perfect distillation, splendid cooperative, cooperative natural maturation in ideal glassing comprehensive and sanitation uh so i think they're trying to tell you is none of your business thank you uh, i don't want to compare bourbon to uh scotch which is the same thing well that's not the same thing but they're both whiskey <laughs> but this kind of reminds me of uh glen Morangi a little bit this is a uh, uh it's got that little sweet twang in there, but I think it's gonna taste a little stronger. It's yeah, there is sweet. It is. It does smell very sweet. How's it hit you? I think a bomb just exploded in my mouth. Yep. And it's not because of my beard. <laughs> I think this is one of the best single barrels I've ever had. It's very explosive, mm -hmm. and yet it's smooth going down. It does not burn. And for being 50% uh, alcohol, 100 proof, this is one of the smoothest things I've ever had. So, um, what told us that this is uh, aged five years? I don't know how long. No, I think aged. they said that they age it for as long until they feel like it's matured. Okay, yeah. so we don't know. So I think we can say probably at least three years because straight bourbon has to be at least three years, right? No. Like base rule? No. No? No. I don't think so. I think that was a uh, misconception, right? Right. That's, uh... Uh, usually it's considered two years, but it just basically has to be made in America and put in a keg. I mean, there are some bourbons that you can taste that they're really young and really they're raw. Green. Fresh. Green. 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 green, yeah. And, you know, I've heard some even as little as... 18 months oh my gosh yeah so i mean i think two years is really what people consider okay well i am not an expert but i would say this is not fresh mm, no i would say this is really matured very well <laughs> yeah this is this is good yeah. the, just from the nose and the the taste it, it's it's remarkable 
And that's... in between this and the small batch, now, now smell the small batch. Yeah, that's okay, hold on, too. hold on. And really take a really good sniff because you want to clear the your single sinuses. barrel. The single barrel is really overpowering. So I gotta give me a second here. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to disturb the esters. You know, if that's what you call it in whiskey. Disturb the esters. Right. Yeah. yeah you that's disturb the good. esters in wine. I don't know if that's what you say when you do this, but I'm, I'm trying be. to get some smell off it, and I don't know if the other one just overwhelmed no. my nostrils so much. No, or... I'm with you right there because when I smelled this, I'm like, where is the smell? I had yeah. to really reach in. Yeah, I'm just not pulling much off of it. And it's not a bad thing. It's just the other one was like a yeah, but shotgun it's... blast to the face. Yeah, and it seems like this one, it's like when you're reaching so far, you're like getting the end of the alcohol where it's like it's just the fumes are just killing your nose I, just, I find it remarkable that I just took a little drink and it's amazing to me that they're basically the same they just come out of different barrels then correct mm -mm. that came out of a single barrel yeah you're wrong this came out of <laughs> multiple barrels it is a small batch but isn't it basically the same in the beginning and then they just use different barrels. Yeah, it's Doesn't basically the same. It's basically the same, except this is from a single barrel, and this is from multiple barrels. But it's a small batch. Whatever that's finished they, in one barrel. This is this could is coming from multiple barrels. Multiple barrels of the same formula. I can't say that's true, but I'm guessing well, we it probably know. is. Yeah, we don't know for sure, but we know that this, the single barrel one, is the the nose is very strong. I have not tasted it, so. Just give me a second here. Uh, it's just, just, to me, it's just a slight difference, but it is a noticeable. A slight difference? There's a massive difference. I think it's there is a noticeable difference. Um, I, I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm still trying to draw well, a sense. You know, but... kind of... The, the, the colors are about the same. The taste is not as powerful. It's not as overwhelming. Just as this is overwhelming on... Your entire sinus cavity is filled with this yeah. wonderful bourbon. Right. Yeah. The, this is much milder. The small and batch has brought, like, toned it down a little it's bit. It's toned it way down. Yeah. I would have to say that the small batch is not as smooth as a single barrel. Oh, I think you're absolutely wrong. The small batch is more smooth than the single barrel. Then why? Well, then I don't must have gotten just something in the wrong glass. Because <laughs> I think this goes down just a slightly smoother. Than this, and it has a great aroma. While this is like, it kind of hits you. This one actually gives me a little burn. The small batch does. I, I don't get a burn really. I'm not. I, hmm. maybe Am I hallucinating? Your, maybe no. you got your glasses swapped around or no, something. No, no, you no. do not. No, no. Hmm. I like. There, the I think there's different. Uh, there's different notes to make for each one. They're both different. They're both just excellent each. Each mm. one gets an A plus mm -hmm. in my book. Right. Um, so I don't know how to, like, if I was going to recommend for somebody that's new to bourbons or something and they got they got some money they want to spend. I, I would think that someone who is new to bourbon right. would find the intensity <clears throat> of this bottle to be over the top mm -hmm. and they would be completely turned off. Okay. This bottle is more delicate sweeter i think you got my glasses mixed up <laughs> this would probably be more recommended to a novice this would be somebody that's done a lot of different bourbons and would like to have that in expand incredible burst of flavor that that over the top complexity on the palate that lingering flavor after you swallow that just fills your entire head with that wonderful gorgeous pleasure that is whiskey you guys that's what that does that's yeah. beautifully beautifully said and uh, with this one, if you have a few bucks that you want to spend on some good bourbon, this is definitely something to break into the higher end, better tasting uh, bourbons. If you there. can find one. Yep. For a few bucks. Up. Yeah. And again, <laughs> here we are talking about Buffalo Trace again. Yep. Buffalo Trace just makes a wonderful lot of really wonderful products. And people may think, well, we're just getting a big bunch of money or free booze from Buffalo Trace. Hey, when you make really good products... I'm going to buy the stuff that's right. good, it, it, except of course for, you know, th those things that, you know, like Happy Van Winkle and stuff, which 
aren't even drinkable. And everybody who has a bottle of Pappy Van Winkle out there, there. We'll take care of you, you need to send it send to me. Send me a sample, at least. And we will, we will dispose of it properly. We don't want that out in just the general public because, you know, that that's just... Should, there, there's nothing... Uh, there, there's nothing that I've had from this company that isn't isn't wonderful, and it, it, if we are leaning towards this company all the time, it's because we find just really wonderful stuff from. So, this, this, so if you are on a, on a budget, this any one some, of them would be great. You may want to save up a little bit and uh, plan ahead to buy one of these two. But if you're a novice, this is the one you want yeah, to go you, to. If I were to go out and buy another bottle, mm -hmm. which I'm not going to, because I'm going to have that for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I would buy that one for myself. For you. Yeah, for me and my son, and maybe you guys. I would buy that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great Britannia, why don't you carry us on home with these beautiful bottles. We love them all. And on that, all for one. And one, one for, for all. all.